the gift of memory. And so we want to say to all of you who mourn her, and particularly to her immediate family, to her husband Stan, daughter Sherry, to her grandchildren Samantha and Jared, and to all of you who knew and loved Michelle, we say that her memory will endure as a blessing in all of your hearts. I want to begin this service in Rochelle's memory with a poem entitled, You Will Remember. At the rising sun and at its going down, you will remember her. At the blowing of the wind and in the chill of winter, you will remember her. At the opening of the buds and in the rebirth of spring, you will remember her. In the blueness of the skies and in the warmth of summer, you will remember her. At the rustling of the leaves and in the beauty of autumn, you will remember her. At the beginning of the year and when it ends, you will remember her. For as long as you live, she too will live, for she is now a part of you. When you are weary and in need of strength, you will remember her. When you are lost and sick at heart, you will remember her. When you have decisions that are difficult to make, you will remember her. Mm -hmm. When you have joy you crave to share, you will remember her. When you have achievements that are based on hers, you will remember her. For as long as you live, she too will live. For she is now a part of you as you remember her. We'll continue now with some psalms and prayers as we link Michelle Kaplan's life with the 3,000-year-old tradition of the Jewish people and the eternity of God. I'm going to continue first with some verses in Hebrew from Psalm 103 and then the English. Kirachem ava banim richem Adonai yireav ki hu yada yitzreinu zachor ki afar anachnu. Enosh kechatzir yamav ketzitz hasadeh ken yatzitz. Ki ruach avravo ve'eneinu velo yakirenu od mekomo. V'chesed Adonai me'alam v'yad alam al yireav v'tzikato l'ibnei banim. As a parent has compassion for her children, so too does God have compassion. God knows how we are fashioned and remembers we are dust. The days of mortals are like grass. We flourish as the flowers of the field. A wind passes over and they are no more, and no one can recognize where they grew. And yet God's chesed, God's compassion, is everlasting. God's kindness to children's children endures age after age unchanged. I'm going to now chant the Hebrew of the 23rd Psalm. At the conclusion, I invite you to join with me in the English. There's a translation that's found on the pamphlet you just received. <laughs> Nahav she is shove, Nahav she is shove, Yahan Treni Vamaglet Sedek, Lemahan Shemo, Tam Tihelech, the gates of Mahabe, Lohirara. Ki atahim adi, shiv techa, umi shan techa, shiv techa, umi shan techa. Ema ya na chamuni, taroch lefanai shochan, taroch lefanai shochan. Taharoch lefanai shulchan neged zorerai Tihishan tav ha-shemet I shall not want He maketh me to lie down in green pastures He leadeth me beside the still waters He restoreth my soul He guideth me in straight paths for his name's sake Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil Thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou hast anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, 
As I listened to Shari speak about her mother's life, I was reminded that the first command given to the first Jew was God's command to Abraham with the words in Hebrew, lech lecha, which we often translate as go forth. The verses that follow tell the story of how Abraham and his family follow God on a journey from the place of their origin to the land of Canaan. But our rabbis had a different way of understanding those two words, lech lecha. They understood that also to be a spiritual journey, not just a physical one. And they read these words, lech lecha, or lechi lach in the feminine, to mean go forth to find your authentic self. Learn to become who you were truly meant to be. And I had the sense from listening to Sherry that those of you who knew Rochelle the most would agree that she lived out 